Hello, I'm back, and I'm about to do stuff. And that guy's mask or thing, this one right here, uh, his helmet kind of looks like uh, Sauron. Can I talk to you guys? What? What? I don't know, what? Sorry, Undyne, like, told us there was totally a human in this area, so, like, us royal guards are blocking off the elevators for now. And now, even if the elevators aren't working anyway, we'll do our best. This and that. Okay, whatever. Ooh, you're a person. Tra la la. I am the river man. Or I am the river woman, it doesn't really matter. I love to ride in the boat. Would you care to join? Ride in the boat. Sure. Tra la la, don't snoop behind people's houses. You might be mistaken for a trash can. Thank you. Come again. Come again sometime, tra la la. Yeah, I'll probably be back. Where's Papyrus? back here. Are there trees underground? Where are we? To the hotland. Then we're off. Going the wrong way. Tra la la. Where are you, Captain Underpants? Timmy Village. The room before the darkening lantern room. What? Thank you. Come again sometime. Tra la la. Too dark to see near the wall. What? Oh my. I didn't expect you to show up so soon. I haven't showered. I'm barely dressed. It's all a mess, and... Um... Hiya. I'm Dr. Altus. I'm Asgore's royal scientist. But, but, uh, I'm not one of the bad guys. Actually, since you stepped out of the room, I've, um, been observing your journey through my home. Your fights, your friendships, everything. I was originally going to stop you, but watching some someone on screen really makes 
do it for them. So, uh, now I want to help. Using my knowledge, I can easily guide you through Hawkeye. I know a way right to Asgore's castle. I can't come. No problem! Well, actually, um, there's just a tiny issue. A long time ago, I made a robot named Metaton. Okay. Originally, I built him to be an entertainment robot. Uh, you know, like a robotic TV star or something. Anyway, recently I decided to make him more useful. You know, just some practical adjustments, like, um, anti-human anti combat features. Of course, when I saw you coming, I immediately decided I have to remove those features. Unfortunately, I may have made a teensy mistake while doing so, and, um, now he's an unstoppable killing machine with a thirst for human blood. <laughs> but, um, hopefully he, we won't run into him. Oh my gosh, who could that be? Meh. Did you hear something? Oh no. Oh yes. Welcome, views. Today's quiz show. Oh boy, I can really tell it's gonna be a great show. Everyone give a big hand for our wonderful contestants. Never played before, gorgeous? No problem, it's simple. There's only one rule. Answer correctly, or you die. Let's start with an easy one. What's the prize for answering correctly? What? Oh, more, more questions, right. Here's your terrific prize. What's the King's full name. Uh. Correct. That was a terrific hint. Enough about that. Let's talk about me. What are robots made of? Uh, about, about. Metal and magic. <laughs> Too easy. The quiz show continues. Here's another lazy one for you. Uh, da. The quiz show continues. Don't count your victories. How many flies are in this jar? Did a, did a 54? Oh, yeah, hey! Let's play a memory game. Let's frog it. No. What? Oh, you stupid, I hate you. Would you smooch a ghost?
I should be reading this and I'm not, I'm sorry. Well, I survived with one life. Maybe it's supposed to happen like that. Well, that was certainly something. Wait, wait. Let me give you my phone number. Then maybe if you need help, I could. Well, uh, where did you get that phone? It's ancient. It doesn't even have texting. Wait a second. Please. Oh, wait a second, please. Here, I upgraded it for you. It can do text texting items. It's got a keychain. I even signed you up for Underground's number one social network. Now we're officially friends. See me. See. Hey. I'm going to the bathroom. Socially awkward much. Dimensional box. Interesting. It's a beat up figure with a female human. It's a, of a female human with cat ears. Let's do that mean you thing. It's a computer. It's access some kind of puzzle and snow. The fridge is filled with instant noodles and stuff. Take a package of noodles. I'm not gonna steal your food. Leave it. The bag of dog food. It's half full. The space behind the wall is only a few feet wide. It's up here. Scientific books. They seem very dusty. All these books are labeled human history. Read one. You look inside the book. It's a comic book of a giant robot fighting a beautiful alien princess. This doesn't strike you as very accurate. VHS is a DVDs of various cartoons. They are all labeled human history. All these books are labeled human history. You look inside a book at the comic book. Two scantily clad chefs are fighting energy pancakes or flying energy pancakes at each other. This doesn't strike you as very accurate. <laughs> All these books are labeled human history. Read one. You look inside a book, it's a comic book. A hideous android is running to school with toast in its mouth. Seems like it's late. This doesn't strike you as very accurate. Pink goop drips from the strange machine. Looks like a lava lava that more tables use dusty. The wardrobe is full of dirty lap coats and a single clean dress. It's a lamp with pink fish on the lampshade, there's no lamp. Up. An incredible invention would not use this vegetable into an extremely easy to draw box. Promo poster for Metaton's TV premiere. On the plot it says, Thank you for making my dreams come true. Ah, just realized I didn't watch Undyne fight the human. Well, I know she's unbeatable. I'll ask her about it later. For now, I gotta call up the human and guide them. Bye bye. No!
I forgot I only had one health left. Oh man, now I gotta fight Metaton again, don't I? Uh, oh, so that's the sound of me being done. I'm done. Thank you. Bye.